This is Audio Tree Live. Today is Tuesday, October 4th, 2016, and we're excited to have Rachel Yamagata in the studio with us today. Whenever you guys are ready, you can jump into your next song. This is 
Audio Tree Live, and we're excited to have Rachel Yamagata in the studio with us today. You have been releasing a lot of new music recently, including your new album, Tightrope Walker. Yes. And Let Me Be Your Girl is the most recent music video you released on your birthday. I did. It wasn't on my birthday. The, the album came out on the birthday. The, the video just came out last week. So exciting. But I can't keep track of these dates. <laughs> it's all been very recent. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. a great video. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Kind of cracked me up. Like, Alison Janney is one of my favorite actresses. And she plays a, so she plays like a sexy clown in the She's video. kind of like a sexy clown. Yeah. You have yeah. to, uh, you have to envision somebody who's a brilliant dancer and an incredible actress who agrees yeah. to like dress herself in this, in this like vintage clown costume and begin dancing around this beautiful loft space. And she, she just, she took our breaths away. Like, um, Josh Radner, who's a friend of mine and he is a, a writer, a director, uh, and also the star of the, the show, How I Met Your Mother. He just, he uh, decided that he was up for this challenge. I was like, can you please direct a music video for me? And, yeah. um, and so, uh, we got Alice and Jenny through another friend of mine who, uh, uh, was a also a, a writer and producer, and she used a song of mine in her film, and has been close friends with Allison for uh, since they grew up together. And somehow, I just won the lottery. Everybody came together, and we did it very quickly. And uh, Josh wrote this treatment, and um, she's fantastic in it. There, there's a scene in it that literally moved me to tears, and you don't expect yeah. that from uh, a music video. And um, I loved it. I had, I had a great time. Yeah. Very, that, it was so unique, you know, that just the concept of her being, uh, like, being this clown, kind of dressing up for, you know, for somebody else. Let Me Be Your Girl is just such a perfect pairing for that. And I mm. thought whatever motivated that concept was, like, brilliant. I've never seen a video like that before. I love it because it was complete luck that we got anything. Like, Josh even admitted to me, he's like, I didn't really listen to the lyrics so much. I just had this vision of something and I was like, and I had no idea what to do. And yeah. somehow it all weaved together and worked very unplanned in that way. So yeah, yeah we enjoyed it. It must have been subconscious, you know. He I didn't guess so. said through. he didn't listen to the lyrics, but it pairs perfectly, you know. <laughs> and the ending is sad. It totally almost moved me to tears too. I was like, oh, you know, she's <laughs> not dancing anymore. But <laughs> so it all worked out. It was better. We did have another last shot planned, but it looked like she mm. was going to throw herself off of a, a roof. So it oh, just no. <laughs> it was actually supposed to be this you know? like great empowered shot, and it just it had the wrong flavor. It really looked like the clown was going to kill herself. So we we're like, no, we got to switch this up. So. We, yeah. uh, we changed a little bit at the end, but yeah, it all, it all worked out. You're like, this isn't the message I want to communicate. No, so. no. no. <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to walk that kind of tightrope. Um. That's right. People yeah. keep making fun of this tour. They're like, stop calling it the tightrope walker fall tour because fall. it <laughs> implies the tightrope walker just fell off the cable. All of oh my, my posters are like, the tightrope walker fall <laughs> tour. <laughs> I, was like, I never thought about that. That's mm. I'm glad. That's well, too funny. now everyone who's watching this will think yeah, of it that way. There you go. So this there is there the tightrope walker fall tour. Fall tour. Um, um, yeah. That should go down. <laughs> Didn't make it. Autumn would have show. been a better word. <laughs> no, no, it's perfect the way it is. At least you can Autumn find humor tour. in it. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they play at Talia Hall tonight, Chicagoans. So definitely, definitely check check this band out. But um, I'd love to hear your next song whenever whenever you guys are ready. Yeah. Cool. This one is called um, Money, Fame, Thunder. Babe, I know you're weary Running out of time We don't know what we're missing Till it's on the head, the headlight. And babe, I know you're working to figure this all out. Sometimes you think you're going crazy. Staring at me Pages It ain't the money Or the fame Or the thunder It ain't the memory Of the way you thought you'd be It's just that you feel like a 
Audio Tree Live, and we're here in the studio with Rachel Yamagata today. There, um, so the album Tightrope Walker is out now, available online. We'd love to hear another song, but before we jump in, um, before the interview, we were casually chatting, and they mentioned that they met the former president last night, um, Bill Clinton. Some of us did. Some of you did. <laughs> not the whole, not the whole band. In what, in what context did you meet Bill Clinton? Uh, he was. He Tell was, the story. Yeah, he was. <laughs> He was visiting a cam- campaign office for yeah. Hillary across the road from the venue. Oh. And um, we didn't bother Rachel about it because we thought we would just see his head going into a car and it wasn't worth it. Yeah. And so Rachel was just on the bus when Bill Clinton came and took a picture with us in front of the bus. So I'm in, I'm in some of the pictures because the bus is in some of the pictures and I'm yeah. in the bus. But there I actually you go. tried to warn, tried to get to Rachel, but Secret Service blocked the way for real. So they were really? like, don't come any closer. Don't come You're like, okay. Okay. We did invite him to sit in on, uh, on the saxophone for a song that, that night. That would have been so oh, yeah. That would have been Let epic. Let me be your girl. Did you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We wanted Hillary to use it. How, how great would that be? That, that would have been so fun. Featuring Bill Clinton. That Featuring would... Bill Clinton. <laughs> next time, guys. Yeah, you'll have to catch him next time. Well, that's a story for the books. <laughs> We'd um, love to hear your next song whenever you guys are ready. Cool. Cool. Um, <coughs> I'm ready now. All right. <laughs> Sorry, my hair keeps like floating around. How's this look? Does it look good? So that's good. It's pretty weird, right? <laughs> Having a strange parting of the parting of my hair is not working out. <laughs> you look great. Mine's doing the same. Just lie to me. <laughs> lie to me, baby. <laughs> I love you, lie to me. Okay. You went one way, I've gone the other. Water shapes the stone, air is free. We knew we weren't quite right for each other. Best to keep our distance peacefully. 
this is over, 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 over. This is who we have become. This is over. Stop listening to voices Urging me to open up the door Thankfully I don't regret my choices History has brought me back before This is over dreams we had Audio Tree Live. We are here in the studio with Rachel Yamagata today. That is one of my favorite songs. I Yay. love it. <laughs> Aww, thank you. Fun fact, I discovered you in high school. This was so many years ago, I'm not going to age myself, but um, you played Elephants live on One Life to Live. Back <laughs> oh my God. That was yes. my mom's favorite show at the time, so I was like, always. Did you ever, you wouldn't know this, so Barbara, I'll age myself. Santa Barbara, there's a guy no. on it. I, I love that, <laughs> that particular episode because I was in love with this guy uh, from that, of so Barbara, he used to be on Santa Barbara with, um, Robin Wright was on it. Um, he played a role, I think his name was like Cruz Castillo or something, and we're sitting in the One Life to Live um, in this stage area getting ready to do our song, and and there in come walks in Cruz Castillo, which is not his title on the on the show. Yeah. And I literally almost fell over in my chair. I'm like, oh my God. And he came right up to me and was like, I love your music. I, I literally lost my lost it I oh lost my god it. it was amazing it was so good <laughs> so good i would too anyways just uh tell your but, mom hey yeah <laughs> she'll know let me talk to your mom after this yeah i might that's actually a post after, audio tree live after thing after this let me let me just call your like, mom like rachel says hi <laughs> Yeah, you were like on so many soundtracks for mm -hmm. years, you know, you just I that's how I discovered your music. And I wanted to know, like when you write your songs, um, do you ever write with the intention of like 
with the intention of putting it behind a story or creating a visual for it, whether it's a music video or like. I just want placements. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're I can just answer this Coffee makers. <laughs> <laughs> Laundry detergent. <Don't. laughs> My new single. <laughs> Tide. <laughs> Tide. <laughs> uh, no. Tide rope walker. No. <laughs> oh, hey. Tide rope walker. <laughs> There you go. We've already done it. We've we sold it. We had a song it. called Easy Target last night on stage. I was like, Target. Target, done. That's so perfect. Uh, no, just, no, no, yeah. no. I never write that way. I, I do think um, I have a, a big love for uh, cinema and orchestrations. And mm. um, I grew up in music theater, so I love the idea of like this romantic setting or like epic things happening as you're performing. So I, yeah. when I write, sometimes I envision like the strings actually coming in or something. Um, but uh, some of the songs lend themselves to visuals. Like Tightrope Walker is a very visual thing for me. Like it was a metaphor yeah. that had a through line for the whole record that was very powerful and, and made a lot of sense. But um, yeah, sometimes it's... Uh, uh, sometimes it's just colors or vibes or, you know, soundscapes, really it's a, a texture or tone of a sound really yeah. uh, will shape something. Um, but yeah... Tide, Tide and uh, Target would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, we got some ideas brewing. So that was like a good sign. It was totally a good sign. Like, Fabulous. Cool. Wow. I, I want to keep talking to you for forever, but we should jump into your next song okay. whenever you're ready. Yes. Cool. Um, yeah. So this is uh, this is Let Me Be Your Girl. This is yeah, the one. This is the one. About. Here we go. Awesome. When you're on the street When your troubles tie your hands And I keep off your feet I'll be there for you It's a crazy world I'll be there for you
live, and we are here in the studio with Rachel Yamagata. Non-music related, if you, I'm sure you've been asked this in the past, but if you were to win a lottery ticket today, multi-million dollars, like tons of money, what is the first thing you guys would do with it? This is a full band question. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lots of money? You yeah. guys go for it. <laughs> No of, pressure. We've never, we've never oh, even like, like, usually we've never even had that that um, idea. We have to keep that so far out of our. Wait, don't you buy lottery yeah, tickets and, and plan what you can do with a win and actually get upset when you don't? Win? I never buy lottery tickets. Typically, yeah. I, what would you do? You go, you guys say, you guys would buy a bunch more guitars, right? No, I would most certainly pay off my house. And then move to Mexico. First thing first. <laughs> Let's secure that roof over the head. Buy your house after you paid it off. You have a greenhouse. Yeah. I would start a cat farm on it. That's good. Where is this house? Is there a lot of, I mean, is there room for cats? Lots of cats. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Teach them to swim in the pool. Yeah. I saw a video once of this woman who legit had a cat farm, and it was, she had hundreds. I don't know if you saw that. It went viral. I didn't see that. It's a thing. It she lives in California. It was Rachel. Yeah. It was so it was much Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> it was your secret second I life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, that's a very practical use. So you'd pay things yeah. off. That's good. Yeah, pay that's things good. off is good. Yeah. yeah. That's a tough one. I usually go in with no expectations. Or I expect to lose. So if I win, I'm like, oh, my God. You know, just. It's so yeah. There's too many choices with tickets. I just I look know. at it. And I'm like, I don't understand. I don't know what you ask for. Yeah. Or how what it numbers? works. Like, how do you choose your numbers? That's the I thing. It takes me a long time to make a decision. Are you into, well, we talked about how you release something on your birthday. Are you into numerology at all or that? I know a little bit about it. I yeah. like that. I, I, I do. I know that, like, I like to travel, says the five in me. Yeah. <laughs> I love to travel. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but um, I, I don't know. I always wish I were an 11 because, no, I know nothing about <laughs> numerology at all. Yeah, um, I know very little, too, other than I'm a five as well. Are you a five we're also? fives. Oh, my God. I'm giving you a high five Get for the five. High five. So many corny dad jokes. I apologize. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm totally, I can't wait to meet your family. <laughs> We're gonna hang out. It's gonna happen. So we just met. Started meeting my family. So good. We move fast. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> we want to talk about um, this Friday too. So you're doing. Yeah. The, is the anniversary for Beatles Revolver? This, yes. That's, yeah. Yeah. Howard Stern is doing a special, and we. Uh, um, I was. And again, so cool. a lottery winner in life. Um, and there you go. Uh, he got a collection <clears throat> of artists to do, I think it was actually a surprise for Howard. Um, oh. And so um, I did a cover of Love You Too. And um, Zach Chenickian, who is a friend of mine who played a lot on this uh, particular record that I, on Tightrope Walker, but also is out on tour with Amos Lee all the time. And he's cool. an incredible multi instrumentalist. He played all <clears> of the <throat> instruments on it. Uh, Pete Hanlon, our sound engineer, on the road with us. And also, um, he is the engineer of the record Tightrope Walker as well. Like, cool. uh, they did this track, and I basically just threw on a slew of vocals. But um, yeah, if you turn into Howard's show on, um, on Friday, I think they're uh, premiering all of the songs, which uh, a great, great slew of artists did, did covers of every song. So it should be exciting. What yeah. an awesome opportunity. How cool is that, right? Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Mama Mama Booey. All good stuff. Well, you heard it, so yeah. be sure to tune in, you guys. Um, that's one of the best Beatles albums, in my opinion. Um, cra crazy that it's the anniversary. That's a fun fact as well. Um, we have one more song. Whenever you guys are ready, we're going to make a switch. switch. You're going to make a switch? Yeah, we're going to swap them out. I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's just going to leave. Just enough of you. <laughs> it's been a half hour. You're probably sick of it. Sick of me by now. <laughs> are you guys just in Chicago for the night? Yeah. 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 Where are you headed next on your tour? Oh, Cheval to get a burger. Just to get a burger? <laughs> oh, on the tour. <laughs> <laughs> we got burgers on the brain. Madison, <laughs> Wisconsin to get some bratwurst. Oh, very cool. We have, we have been eating our way across the country. I think tour. Yeah. That is probably where I'd tour. spend my money, really, too. It's just eating. The million dollars? Yeah, yeah absolutely. The, the millions of dollars. Food. Lottery dollars. Yeah. Yes. That's, a, that's half the fun of it. If, I mean, you have to experience the culture by experiencing totally. the food and, totally. you know. Yeah, do it. Wisconsin, lots of brat, what, bratwurst. Go to Hopcat in Madison. Okay. Was, yes, Ooh. one of my favorite. Chavez brought us tacos this morning at 9 a.m. It is National Taco Day. <laughs> it yeah, is National, National, National Taco Day. It is? Yes. Yep. All these facts. National Taco Day. <laughs> <So> well, <good. laughs> Only in the U.S., not Mexico. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs>
I don't know why why that makes sense. <laughs> How are we doing? No, we're good. Yeah, ready to go. I'm sorry. Awesome. Professional. <laughs> Professional swap. Whenever you're ready, let's yeah. hear this last track. Don't take it personally You've done nothing wrong You're right where you should be And we're all going home And black sheep will just before the dawn You're the only one Who can break them down And I know Today with Rachel Yamagata. You guys were so fun. <laughs> you were so fun, dude. Way, Thank you was very much. First time that has ever oh, happened. Oh, that's true. What yeah, did yeah, you we've never done that song. before. Oh, nice. it's the first time you've performed we that song? Wrote, yeah. We actually She's, just wrote it. Yeah. Yeah. We just wrote it. <laughs> just <laughs> right now. So instinctive. Yeah, yeah, all improv. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's impressive. Stomach growl, whatever. Well, you saw it here first, an improv song on the spot, you guys. Just made it up. We'd like to thank all the viewers for tuning in today. We can change that to Black Jeep also. Black Jeep. <laughs> you guys, just so you guys know. Jeep Cherokee. If you're... <laughs> That's so good. So the placements are endless. We're going to have fun after this. I'm going to look through your whole album and we're going we're gonna to figure this out. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Um, we'd like to also thank our crew for working their magic. As always, they were amazing. Um, check out Rachel tonight at Talia Hall. She's playing here in Pilsen. Um, once again, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah. So fun. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good.